They're on to me, dude. Those guys are sharp as nails up there. You can't put anything past them. Oh my God, dude, I'm freaking out. I am so stressed out. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. You wanna talk about stress? You wanna talk about stress? Okay? I've stumbled onto a major company conspiracy, Mac. How about that for stress? What the hell are you talking about? This company is being bled like a stuck pig, Mac, and I got a paper trail to prove it. Check this out. Take a look at this. Jesus oh, Christ, Charlie. That right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I've been dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail is getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look at the mail, well, this whole box is Pepe Sylvia! So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. It's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Pepe's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia, you gotta be kidding me! I got boxes full of Pepe! All right, so I start marching my way down to Carol and HR, and I knock on her door and I say, Carol! Carol, I gotta talk to you about Pepe! And when I open the door, what do I find? There's not a single goddamn desk in that office. There is no Carol in HR. Mac, half the employees in this building have been made up. This office is a goddamn ghost town. Okay, Charlie, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Not only do all of these people exist, but they have been asking for their mail on a daily basis. It's all they're talking about up there. Jesus Christ, dude, we are gonna lose our jobs.